Hello friends, this video on data handling part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have learned a lot about data till now. We learned about how to handle data in a better way, how to represent data in graphs, pie charts, bar graphs uh, and how organizing data helps us. So having said so much about data, a very important thing comes into picture, a very important concept rather comes into picture and that concept is a matter of chance. And that is where we introduce something called probability. Now you might think that how probability is linked to data handling. So very soon it will become very clear to you. So when we talk about probability, what are we talking about? This guy, when he is traveling on his scooter, he sees clouds in the sky. But he has doubts whether it will rain or not. He is not very sure that it will rain. He is also not sure that it will not rain. When you toss a coin, you are not sure whether it will be a head or a tail. You don't know. So there are chances that it might be a head. There are equal amount of chances that it might be a tail as well. So these are your possibilities. It might be a head, it might be a tail. When you play cricket and when the batsman bats, it might be a six, it might be a four, it might be a two, it might also be out. So we do not know again that what is going to be the outcome. So these are all possibilities, whether it is a six or a four or a two or a one, these are all possibilities that might be the result of the action of the batsman. When you appear in your exams, your exams went really good, but still you are not sure whether you will be the topper or not, whether you will top or you will not. So again, so in all of these examples, what do you see? You see that everywhere there is something called possibility. There is a possibility that it might rain. There is a possibility that it might not rain. So everywhere it is a matter of chance. It might happen that it is a head. It might happen that it is a tail. So everywhere there is some possibility that one event can happen. There is also some possibility that some other event can happen. So this is what we basically talk about in probability. Now when we talk about data handling, so in data handling, we saw that we are dealing with huge amount of data. So everywhere we, we have taken so many examples till now. Somewhere we spoke about the scores obtained by students in a class. Somewhere we are talking about the heights or weights of children in a class. Somewhere we talked about the favorite fruits of different people. So we have taken examples of those kinds. But when you really have huge amount of data, probability plays a role because not always you are very sure that okay these are the number of students who would you know score more than 90 percent you are not very sure on the numbers always so when you we are talking about data talking about probability becomes important because not everywhere we are sure of the data so many a times we have possibilities of success or failures we have possibilities of a six or a four. We have possibilities of a, a rain or a sunny day. So everywhere we talk about possibilities. Now what exactly is probability? It is the chances of occurrence of an outcome in a random experiment. Now random experiment could be anything. When we are tossing a coin that is a random experiment for us because tossing a coin is, is, is just an event but it is a random experiment for us. And what could be the outcome of this experiment? The outcome could be a head. The outcome could also be a tail. So head and tail, these are two possible outcomes. Now, what is the probability or what is the chance that a head might come? Is 50%. There, there is a 50% chance that a head might come. There is a 50% chance that a tail might come. So what is, how much is the chance of occurrence of a particular outcome in any random experiment? That is what we call as probability. So as we see, probability of each head as well as tail is 1 by 2 because both of these are equally possible or equally probable. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.